when her name is chanted repeatedly, and the Bloody Mary apparition may be a benign or malevolent, depending on historic variations of the legend. Mm -hmm. Bloody Mary appearances are most oftenly witnessed in group participation. Oh, so it's a group hysteria. Participation play, I guess so, yes. Group hysteria. Actually, it says they might either see the reflection of their future husband Oh, or something more terrible, this one says. yeah. Oh, okay. Their future husband. Isn't that what we discussed in that uh, Haunted Possessions episode, Mm -hmm. right? With that Dana and uh, Dana Newkirk and her husband. Oh, I always forget With the creepy eyeball stabbing (laughs) statue. (laughs) Yeah. But it was uh, like... um, what do they call that? De- divination? Yeah, yeah, When you yeah. look into like water or reflection or a mirror right. or something, right? It was the mirror. It was the mirror. That, it was, that, and that... they had a haunted mirror that was yes, really, really that's bad. that's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like they say when somebody, in the old days when somebody passed in the house because they kept the body there, they had to cover up all the mirrors, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Because, because they didn't like want the, to get... the world, right? Yeah. And they didn't want the spirit to get caught behind... In, yeah. Yeah. In, in the other world. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So it says I mean, here, it's not cool, but... <laughs> well, you know... It's pretty cool, but it's not cool, but... Yes, exactly. Uh, historically, the divination ritual encouraged young women to walk up a flight of stairs backwards holding a candle and a hand mirror in a darkened house. No, that's, no. That's just kind of creepy, too. Yeah. If I saw someone walking up the stairs backwards holding a candle and a mirror, it kind of freaked me out just right. on its own. And in continuation to what you said about seeing the future husband's face, yeah, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. It said, however, uh, there was a chance that they would also see a skull, like, say, the Grim Reaper instead, and that would indicate that they were going to die before they had a chance to marry. Oh, well, shit. Yeah. That must be an old tale then, really. Must be very old, Because, yes. I mean, like, most women, well, I mean, like, life, <laughs> life, life expectancy way back when was like 40, you know, 50. Yeah. Not like 90 or 80 now. Right. So, I mean, poor they'd but, be but old that's what it spinster. Says, that's what it says here. In the ritual of today, Bloody Mary allegedly appears to individuals or groups who ritualistically invoke her name in an act of cato, catotromancy. Oh, I'm going to see what that shit means. Catatonic romance. I'm learning new That'd words That'd be catatomancy. Today. If you're in a catatonic uh, romance. Let's see. Oh, it's divination <laughs> using a mirror is what it is. It's just a big fancy word. Well, that's just far too fancy I for know. that. It's Thursday, Thursday Thursdays. Thursday, I don't want to think right now. No, I don't want to think Damn either. Um, so the Bloody Mary apparition allegedly appears as a corpse, witch or ghost, and can be friendly or evil. And it is sometimes uh, uh, seen covered in blood. I've heard that. That's why it's called Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Yeah. The lore surrounding the ritual states that participants may endure the apparition screaming at them. Oh, yay. Cursing at them. Yay. Strangling them is the one I know. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That That's why you don't bad. want her out of the mirror because she will strangle you. Strangle the shit out yeah. of you. With her dead, with your husband, your dead husband watching. <laughs> uh, That's just uh, great. And it says, or scratching their eyes out. Nice. Yeah. Okay, what's with the scratching of the eyes thing? Like, with the baby scratching eyes. eyeball thing, too. Eyes. Jesus. God, that's terrible. <clears throat> Yeah, and it says like the phenomenon explained. I'm looking at Wikipedia just so mm-hmm. that everybody understands. I'm not, I'm not that brilliant by any means. Um, facial features may appear to melt, distort, disappear, or oh, rotate. Oh. Other hallucinatory events, such as an animal or strange faces, may appear. Um, but I think that has a lot to do with the divination. You stare, you stare into something long enough, you're going to see, see something. whatever. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like whether it's like. Uh, Nostradamus would stare into uh, a bowl of mirror and right. he would uh, divine. And stuff, right. It's right? just like when you listen to a repetitive sound, you, uh, sure. you start hearing words, right? <sighs> White noise. Right. You know, you hear your, whatever you. Yeah. Which I don't know. That's odd that yeah. it happens. So that's basically the folklore of Bloody Mary. Again, do not try this at home. No. We do not encourage this. But if you have tried it in the past, <laughs> just saying. We want to know. Hit us up. Yeah, let us know what happened. Are you still alive? No. <laughs> just... Or are you Do you Bloody still Mary? have eyes? <laughs> mm. But yeah, like, uh, contact us at giving up the ghost podcast at gmail.com yes or twitter us or facebook instagram any which way but loose any Any which way but up and down (laughs) yeah please we're pretty easy going yeah we are yeah we are everybody likes us everybody likes us we're creepy we're funny we're kind of weird we we belch a lot yeah Yeah. i drank a lot we know everything about nothing and nothing about everything still still haven't learned enough yet to change that fact and we are still winnipeg's first and only paranormal podcast almost one year in wow high five high five up, 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 up. up high Ooh. 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 there we go that was really far oh god i think i pulled a muscle another one of these name calling things that i heard 
What was that? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> so I'm sort of choking a giggle at the same time. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. I'm not going to do the research. I'm not going to tell you anything on this one. But I've heard this one. I heard it's very creepy and it actually happened. So Charlie, Charlie. Apparently you're supposed to chant his name in, in a darkened room and and uh, ask for him and he'll appear. And it, So with the Charlie, Charlie challenge, it's a modern incarnation of the Spanish paper and pencil game called Jungo de la la pericia, Ooh, very which good. is pencil game. It's like pencil a magic game. magic eight ball. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. cool. So the game is play- much like our sphere of magical. Sp- what do we call it now? Our magic sphere of <laughs> magnetic sphere. Magnetic of sphere of fortune. fortune. Holy shit! Don't <laughs> use it for episodes and totally blank out there. <clears throat> so the game is played by teenagers using a uh, hand, using held or unbalanced pencils to produce answers. <coughs> to question, sorry, that well, they like ask. When you do that like weird writing shit, like uh. No, I think the pencils cross each other. Oh, well then, yeah. how do you get an answer? Oh no, thank you. So it says teenage girls have played Junga de la la Superia for generations in Spain and Hispanic America, asking which boys in their class like them. Oh, of course. Who oh, loves me? <laughs> because you know, yes, I know. Oh, girls. It's like when you had that paper thing. You remember you used to do those? Yes. Yeah, like the uh, Oracle. Yeah, paper yeah, yeah. Oracle yeah. thing, asking questions, yeah. right? So uh, it says you're originally described on the internet in 2008. The game was popularized in the English-speaking world in 2015, partly through the hashtag of Charlie Charlie Challenge. Hashtag. Oh, don't like this. So on April 29th, 2015 an alarmist happily television newscast it's the devil it's the devil i tell you <laughs> anyway, no i don't know it's always the devil <coughs> it's always the devil it's always the devil so uh they Your talked field. about yeah <laughs> talked about uh it says uh played in uh hato mirror province of the dominican republic it was uploaded to youtube because that's just so reliable oh yeah <coughs> and the unintentional humor in the report led to the game Trending on Twitter, crossing language barriers, and being played around the world. So I don't know. I don't really want to give the description of the game. Oh, I see. The four oh, pencils. I see. It's kind of like look a... it. it's just like yes and no. It's like Ouija. Yeah. Ouija dumbed down. It's yeah. Ouija dumbed down. But it's like one of those things though too that if you don't close off, Charlie stays. Oh, who the hell is Charlie anyway? God I don't damn know, it's it. It's just another portal. Oh. Another freaking portal. I thought he was someone important. Yeah, I know. Who the hell is Charlie? What kind of Mexican would be named Charlie to begin with? Charlie? <laughs> Charles? Maybe Jose? Chucky? Jose? 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 A uh, supernatural entity <laughs> named Charlie. The upper pencil is then expected to rotate to indicate the answer to such questions. The first question everybody asks by speaking into the pencils is, oh, right. Oh, yeah, no. I, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. Well, we don't have pencils. pencils here. We just have forks. We don't have because pencils. We we have, no, we have forks. <laughs> So it says here, can we play or are you here? Are you there? Oh, Ooh, well, Charlie sounds like a child if you say, can we play? <coughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Can we play? Do you want to play a game? Isn't that from War Games or something? Oh, Do you well, want yeah. to play a game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, I'm that old. Charlie. So it's, again, it goes on about the Spanish girls and yeah. And then uh, it says here, I guess there was an article in the Washington Post. Holy shit, it got that far. That's kind of weird. <laughs> that the game is valuable as an example of cross-cultural viral trends. It says, Charlie makes a killer case study in virality and how things move in and out of languages and cultures online. And you'll notice, for instance, a lot of the players and reporters talking about the game as if it were new when it actually, and more interestingly, that it's an old game that's just crossed into the language divide. Right, it is. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was talking about some Catholic priest claimed that Charlie Charlie was a demonic activity and an open letter to students. There is a dangerous game going around on social media which openly encourages impressionable young people to summon demons. I want to remind you all, there is no such thing as innocently playing with demons <laughs> like shit this was a priest that was saying this oh, so it, of course that's just gonna of like course. help everything spiral into like and then you got the 15 year olds i'll give it a shot yeah yeah if you've done this and you played charlie charlie let sure. us know you know <laughs> but like i like but it's just like the ouija board you have to close off you oh. have to so what do you do take the pencils apart erase erase you, well you have to, i guess you you just like you invited to play you invited to go away oh 
yeah. you invited. Can you please go away now? Bye bye. Boy, please, I'm all done. Don't let the demon door hit your ass on the way out. Yeah. <clears throat> so, apparently, they say there's apparently an article claiming 500 mysterious deaths resulting from playing the Charlie Charlie Challenge. What they fell on the pencil? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> They didn't like the answer they got, so they stabbed their friend with a pencil. Right in the eyeball. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Like, never run with scissors. So, yeah. So, it's just like it's like another divination tool is all it is, Interesting. right? Interesting. Interesting. So, is there any demon, any other demon summoning games you can think of? <laughs> I don't know. Do I? Light, a, light as a board. No, oh, light yeah, as light air, is... stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. But that's not a demon. That's more like just little witches. Yeah, little witches. Oh, little witch games. Everyone likes to play a little witch game. What's nothing wrong with that? (laughs) No harm done. No. Nothing an exorcism can't take care of. That's right. And then there's another one here from uh, geek.com. It has 11 of the best demons to summon. That's the one I had. Is that the one you were reading? That's the one I was reading, yeah. Oh, shit. That's why I you don't can, know. Yes, if you want to say the demon it. names live and in person? Yeah. Well, the first one was kind of nice because that was the money man. Money's good. The money man. What the hell was the money sure. man? Dala, Dala Dala. Dala Dala. Bun. Bin. Bun. Uh, okay. And I'm slow. Bunet. Bunet. Is it in Francais? Bunet. I don't know. He's a money man, though. Oh, yeah. I see that here. And then there's also a cameo. What is the cameo one? Uh, it says, we'll answer questions, uh, tell you about the past, and teach you a thing or two about liberal, liberal sciences. sciences. Talk about an oxymoron. <laughs> Alex, I'll take <laughs> what demons is summon for 400, please. Yeah, no shit. Um, yeah, so that one's kind of intelligent. Then there's Paymon. Uh, it says, isn't just any demon. The dude's a, a demon, demon king. king. Yay. And he rides in style on a camel. Lo- why the host of spirits clearing the way with trumpets and cymbals oh, trumpets maybe the dude that's making that noise somewhere up north the... that was in fucking Iceland right love that was that in Iceland Finland I think yeah it's somewhere all oh, somewhere over there yeah, yeah yeah I was just thinking about the Icelandic shit we were talking about Gimli man yeah yeah uh, on our next episode to come out we talk about yeah. ghosts of Gimli so Zapar Zapar it says uh, it says very specific demons. Uh, on full parade can teach you pretty much anything <laughs> dun, 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 dun. he's not just a fighter though he's also a lover oh and Lord. his main thing is making women fall in love with Ew. men good for you zapar that's right let's see that tongue <laughs> anyway it's all fun and games until you have a, until you have a demon in love with you yeah that's there right you go. um and andromalius says you ever had something stolen you wanted it back right yeah right yeah but beyond just wanting it back you also wanted the guy who stole it to pay that's right karma that's right so that's almost like the karma thing He's you the got karma that right dude. yeah some uh says summon up the big horny andromalius <laughs> oh my oh, what does it always have to do with well maybe i maybe, don't know i think i think they mean like not figuratively but not I mean, figuratively horny. horny yeah that's right well there's well, who can ask Mr. Fornius? Thornius. Fornius. Fornius. Like he's, fornication he, it's Fornius. It's all about, I don't know, it doesn't sound important to be fun or useful, but pump the brakes and think for a minute. Fornius can make oh, yeah, you totally that. rad. <laughs> this is what What it says. the hell? People are just making <laughs> The art of talking up. to people and get them to think and do what you want. Oh, God. And then you got Forrest, who is a big, strong dude and a president. Oh, oh it's Trump. Oh, my God. Basically, he's Schwarzenegger. That's funny. <laughs> And Demolition Man continually. Yay. Weird. Zagan says, all this dumbin, demon summoning and... Dumbin? Dumbin? I'm, a, I'm <laughs> speaking dumbin. That's my dead horse speaking. All the chanting and the drawing of circles and the welding of lamins. There's no two ways about it. You're going to work up a helcious thirst, my fine feathered friend. So why not summon up a dude who can provide you with a delicious beverage? Oh. Get a Zagan. That would be a good name for a drink, hey? Zagan. Zigga, zagga, zigga, zagga, zagga. Zoi, oi, oi. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Somebody should come up with that. There we go. Hmm. Oh. What, what, what? <coughs> no word on whether he can turn anything into blood, but honestly, why would you want to turn water or wine into blood anyway? Ew. Ew. No, thanks. Pass, no. thanks. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got Gap. 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 
Yep. Yep. He has the amulet on his name, so in always. Got that kind of outlaw biker heavy metal vibe, which really, really works for... Oh, well, the assetgeek.com, that's not us, but... <laughs> uh, just says, look at him! Look